Welcome back to my series about astrological tarot mapping where I use tarot cards to map out natal uh, astrological charts. I've been going through each tarot card to explain how they correlate with astrology and right now we are on the chariot card. Now the chariot card is all about movement and the balance between our emotional vulnerability and our protection or protective mechanisms. The white sphinx represents our emotional side, our inner soft center, and the black sphinx here represents the masks that we wear to protect that or the walls that we build. The fact that most people recognize this card as something to do with swift victories or new beginnings makes it confusing why it would be representative of Cancer, since Cancer tends to be the home buddy or the crab. But notice that in this card, the man in the chariot is stationary and plotting his next move. With moons on each shoulders and the river behind, it's the perfect card to represent the water sign of Cancer, who's also ruled by the moon. As the mother of the zodiac, Cancer both nurtures and protects the home, much like a chariot protects a castle. The armor worn by the person in the chariot very much reminds me of the armor of a crab. This canopy above represents cosmic protection and intuition. Despite being a homebody and often ruminating on the past, as a cardinal sign, Cancer is also very ambitious, intuitive, and strategic. The swiftness of this card is a great match for the swift changing moods that often drive a Cancer. When Cancers develop a routine and focus on their goals, there's absolutely nothing that this dynamic and creative sign can't accomplish. And that's why Chariot Energy fits a Cancer so well. 